Drum, you gonna do a solo today? Okay, buddy. We got the three. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You can come this way if you need to. Come on, come on. We're waiting on one player to get in. Jason, you want to check on Trent? I mean, our, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Sam. Everybody good? Okay, welcome back to the final game of the 2023 UK Healthcare Kentucky High School Athletic Association Boys Sweet 16 State Tournament. With us tonight are the runners up in this year's tournament. The George Rogers Clark Cardinals with coach head coach Josh Cook, uh, student athletes Trent Edwards, Jerome Morton, and Sam Parrish. Coach, comments on tonight's game? Um, it was a battle. Um, I'm I'm proud of our guys. They, uh, you know, we talk about playing with heart. That's kind of our message for what we just experienced in 24 hours of trying to play three basketball games of the level we've played at. Um, we talked about heart. We talked about play with your heart, not your legs, not your excuses. A um, couple of times I wish the ball would have bounced our way, you know, maybe a call or two, maybe would have helped swing her favor. But our guys fall. I mean, I think it defined our team when you saw us get down and you saw a team that played with such a sense of urgency and fight. And you got to think, guys, I mean, they're gassed. I mean, what they've experienced in, in 48 hours with the level of competition they had to play and to be right in it and have a chance to win it again. Um, I wouldn't trade them for anybody else, i tell you that. And I said that about competitive toughness. I'm going to tell you it's because of their heart. Their heart is in the right place. And I'd ride with them to the end, unfortunately. That is today. Questions in the back? <clears throat> uh, coach, um, in the second half, you started to press more. Was that kind of kind of the game plan? Because early in the game, you went zone kind of and kind of played man to man. And then in the second half, you played more of the press uh, to get their legs going, I guess. Yeah. I mean, what? Just trying, you know what I mean? Uh, it, just trying to see what we do have in the tank. I and mean, I'd love to say I could do it for 32 minutes, but most of it's half court. You know what I mean? You can't do full court pressure because you're. You're, you're tired, but um, yeah, we wanted to speed the pace up and make them go to, uh, you know, make some tough decisions, shoot some tough shots, and they did it. And then they made some, you know, and I think Unso might have been the only guy that scored in the third quarter. I, you know, we, you know, he got kind of hot us. We didn't find him, but you saw a lot of guys flying around the basketball, trying to make plays, giving you everything they have. They're, you know, 12th round of the fight. Um, but, you know, that's kind of our philosophy. It's kind of been our go to is when, you know, we get in trouble to have that pressure and half court traps and, um, uh, you know, I was trying to save as much as I could, and you no, know, we were right there. Um, they fought and they tried to make plays, and we were right there. And um, you know, it it worked. I mean, it worked to the best it could. I'll say that. Oh, I wish we could have got to the line more. You know, in this type of game, it's hard, and we shoot five free throws. I know we were trying to get to the rim. Um, you know, that maybe would have gave us a you know that's a bucket and a break. But uh, you know, we were battling. We were trying. We were trying our best to be aggressive, and our guys gave it all. They gave it their all. Back. Coach, these have been three seniors who have been great leaders on the floor and off the floor. Uh, what are you going to miss most about these three guys? Miss their competitiveness. I mean, they are who they are, and that's that's my co coaching philosophy. I'm, you know, the old school days of me saying I want to fit, you know, change you to be this. I want them to decide who they want to be, and I want them to be their own personality. Because in the end, it's their life. My job is to guide them. My job is to be there for them. My job is to accept them. My job is not to change them. And I'm going to miss them because they're unique in their own way, and they and I love who they are. And when you learn to be a part of that, and you learn as a coach, you know they become your family. But I love who they are, and I'll miss them. You know, I'm forever thankful for them. You know, as long as much I miss them, I'm thankful for them. 
Uh, Coach, kind of uh, along the lines of your initial statement, you know, you've talked throughout the year about, you know, the pressure of handling the noise. Um, The fact that you were able to win the region and then get back here, uh, what does that say about the team? It it says a lot, you know, and I've – I'll be positive on that direction. And we, there's a lot of things like social media is in it. I know everybody's involved in it. I mean, it's, it's, it can be very, uh, I'll say the word it's toxic. And, you know, we built a program where, and I'm, I'm going to fight for it because we built a program that kids want to be a part of that kids. It comes, you're a part of something bigger. You come, you play unselfish, you sacrifice. You got coaches that'll fight for you. You got a community and a school that love it. There's a lot of people that don't like that. We built a, we built a heck of a program. And, you know, and these kids got to go fight. You know, they'll win a region and they'll be in their, their own read the tenth region account. They'll be a new burner account saying something about GRC basketball. And these kids are eight. These are high school kids that have to deal with. You know what they keep doing? They keep fighting. They keep fighting for each other. And, you know, and I'm I'm forever proud of that because in the end, that's what life's about. Show some toughness, stick together, do something bigger than yourself. Jerome, man, quite a career. You know, can you reflect? on the legacy you've left here, you know, you're the all-time leading scorer in this program and you've really helped raise the bar from winning region titles. And now, you know, a state championship is the expectation for you guys. I'm just thankful for what God gave me and the ability that he gave me and for coach cook. You're good. My teammates. Just thankful. And it just don't feel real that it's over. But things happen for a reason. And I, I guess I'm just I'm glad and happy that we're here. But I don't know. Same coach touched on it, but three games in, in 24 hours, you're you're down 16 midway through the third quarter. Where did you all find the final gear to make this a game? Um, coach Cook just always tells us, man, try to win and I believe everybody on our team is dogs we always want to win and we're going to fight into the end and just happen so tonight and then go our way hey guys I think we're going to end the conference with that and congratulate these guys on a fantastic year thank you thank you Okay, uh, we have the Warren Central Dragons, the champions of the 2023 KHSAA UK Healthcare Boys Sweet 16 Tournament. On the podium, we have head coach William Unsell, student athletes Chappelle Whitney, Damarian Walker, and Cade Unsell. Coach, comments, please. Oh, uh, man, what a great game. Great game. We got up. Uh, they made runs like we told our kids they would. We lost a couple of guys, you know, lost a little shooter a couple of times. Uh, but I'm just proud of my kids, the way they fought and hung in there. Questions? Okay. Back here. Coach, in the fourth quarter, uh, you went to Chappelle quite a few times down the stretch. He got a bucket every time he went down. Yeah. Is that is that something that you wrote on all year, or is this something that just happened tonight? No, I mean, we we – we ride him a lot. We rode on him, and it really would just, it just depended, you know, like when coming out of half, it was Cade. Four quarter was Glove, Glover, Walkup, and, and Whitney. They they just made plays. We just try to get, you know, they were zoning us, so we was trying to get Whitney or Glover in the middle, and then the other one down, so we could just dump it down. And he went and made a couple plays for us. Right here, Ian, the back. Guys, when it comes down to just you know being back in the championship after last year, playing GRC again this year, how you know? In exciting is it for you guys to you know do this to come back and you know it's not guaranteed you guys make it and definitely not guaranteed to play GRC but what does it mean to you guys? Uh, yeah, so once we got back, um, it was a big relief. You know, we finally made it back and we've been here before. So when the game got tight, you know, we came together, finished it out, and yeah. <laughs> William, I believe going into tonight, you had a ninety-three to forty-five edge in rebounding. Over your three opponents here, I don't know what the, that total is now. Uh, you talked about that before the tournament. You know how much of that was a factor in you hoisting the trophy? That was a big factor. You know, we we gave up a couple that we shouldn't have. Uh, a couple of loose balls they got. I think they had Statue got them for five offensive rebounds. I think it was a little more than that, but it was a couple of them we had our hands on. You know, so I wasn't happy with that. 
Uh, but we put a premium on rebounding, you know, on both hands. Uh, because it's gonna be a lot of shots. I mean, most nights you're not gonna shoot the ball well, so you gotta go chase some of them down. And we 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 really put a big emphasis on second chance points. Right here on the corner. For the players, now that you've won it, what was this last year like to be so close last year to come in, you know, kind of one of the, the, the team with the target all year and ultimately finish it off? What has this year been like for you guys? Uh, it's really been, you know, amazing experience with these guys. You know, we got Kay, Chappelle, Maury, IV, all them, you know. You know, it's really been a special season. What we are, 36 and 1? 36 and 1, yeah, so. It feel great. Um, it feels really good. I remember uh, my freshman year when we all came and we all came together in class and we talked about winning the state championship. But now we actually did it now, so it's not really like I don't believe it really happened yet until I, I go back in my hotel room, talk to IB, and like we're state champs. So we're gonna like celebrate for all night probably. I'm I'm not going to sleep tonight, so. That's <laughs> perfect. Phones up at ten thirty. <laughs> Oh man, uh, you know, losing last year, uh, we all told each other uh, we wanted to get back. So it's about business every day. And now that we got it, we party in the night. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's probably two biggest free throws I'm sure you've ever had in your life. And how many times has maybe dad put that scenario in your in your pocket there, either after practice or in the front yard, up two, you need two to clinch it. Yes, sir. Uh, once it got late, um, I went. We went in timeout, and uh, we made, I think we missed two one and ones or something like that. So uh, I went in timeout, and I told him to give me the ball. I was gonna make the free throws, and I did that. Here, coach, uh, you you kind of remarked this year several times on how this team doesn't have any fear. Did this game put a scare in you at least? Not that I honestly no. I just thought we'd make enough plays. Uh -oh. I really thought we'd make enough plays. I knew at a, a certain point they were going to extend too far and we'll be able to capitalize. We got a little careless with the ball a couple of times. They made some tough shots. And I thought we could wear them down a little bit. I think we did that. They got a little fatigued in the fourth quarter, late in the fourth. Um, I think we stopped playing a little too early. You know, I'm trying to tell my guys, keep attacking. We stopped playing a little too early, let them back in it. Uh, but again, not not really. I, I don't, this has not really been a game all year where I was like, oh my God, we might lose this one. I honestly was just like, go make a play. We got to start making plays. I told Chappelle, he turned one over. We got to go make a play now. And he went down and scored right after that. Uh, Coach, you had four players in double digits, three of which had 17. Uh, can you kind of talk about how well your players shared the ball tonight and if that's a normal for you guys? Oh, it was normal for us. I mean, we basically had five guys average double figures this year. Uh, I think Caden and Chappelle was 15, 16. Um, Mar was 12. Amari was 11. And IV was nine and a half. So, They've shared the ball all year. Any of these guys easily could be somewhere in average 25, 30 points a game. Uh, but we put an emphasis on it's hard to guard when you have five really good basketball players. I like playing teams when they have one or two. You know, we can, we can end up taking one or two of you away. Um, so I, I, we preach to them, yeah, you can go somewhere and score 30. You won't win as many games as you want to. Or we're going to – we can stay here and, and, and move the ball. And you won't, you might not score 30. You might not score 1,000 points, but you'll win a lot of basketball games. In the but you talked about giving your team permission to lose. Mm -hmm. um, how much of your job this year did you feel like was just taking pressure off your team? And when you look back, did the Madison Central loss maybe even help with that? Yeah. Um, I, going into the year, I told them that. I said, man, listen, you guys don't have to win this thing. You don't have – we got a great team. You don't have to win it. Just, just have fun. It's your senior year. Might be the most enjoyable sports time of your life. Don't worry about winning it. Let that take care of itself. Um, and as we got going, it happened. You know, I was just like, let, let's relax. And the tightest we got was in the region championship game, and I could just see it. I was like, oh, we had our worst warm up. We had we did a lot of things we never we hadn't done. Um, and when we got over that, I said, we'll be pretty good. We're, we're good after that. The Madison Central game was great for us. Um, coach failed out, an unbelievable coach, great coach. It was the best thing to happen to us. The cold weather coming in was great. You know, we didn't practice for six days. We went to play that game with no practice, and I, we got off the bus. And we were down eighteen to four. Everybody said, man, what happened in that game? One, we got beat by a really good team. Two, we you can tell we hadn't we hadn't practiced. Three, we've been out for six days. They've been out of school. So after the game, I said, how many of y'all been asleep since before midnight? None of them. I said, okay. Well, we, we, we played the day early. Which one of y'all went to bed before midnight? Tonight, the night before. None of them. They was up to 4 o'clock playing video game. And you can tell. We're on the bus, and I drove separate. 
And I'll never forget, we're getting off the parkway and we're, we're almost two for sales. And I look past the bus, I don't see nothing but feet. So I'm calling my coach, like, get them up, man. We're great playing in less than an hour. Get them up. And they they got over and they all kept saying, thank you. And they all kept saying, oh, I can't get my body going. I can't feel my legs. And I said, I told my sister coach, we're not winning this game. These kids, I didn't say that word. So these fools haven't been to sleep in days. And you can tell. Coach, uh, and in the first half, on a good note, and giving yourself some momentum going into halftime for coming out in the third quarter, uh -huh. how uh, how big was that shot by Villafuerte? That was great. It was great. You know, we we you know that that could have changed been a different change in the game because we had the ball with 22 seconds ago, and we shoot a tough shot, and I'm screaming at him, "Man, you're the point guard. See the clock." Then we get it again, and he still didn't realize it was down to five because he just got caught up in the game. So we're screaming at him, "Go!" And all of a sudden, he takes off. We we do that what once a week shoot half-court shots once a week, you know, because you never know when you're going to need one of those. And that was big. It was momentum. Then we came out, and Kay gave us a little gap where we could overcome some of the run. We knew they was going to make run. You got special special players at Morton and Parrish, and, and then uh, Hampton started making threes. So we knew there was going to be a run, but we wanted enough cushion where we could handle the run. Bye. Mar Mars, uh, it feels like these last couple of games you've had – you know, shots that were coming at clutch moments, whether it be in the first quarter, third or fourth. Um, and you guys are able to score. A lot of you guys are able to score. And it, it doesn't have to be one person every night. Can you talk about the mindset and the way that you guys are able? And it doesn't have to be one guy. And it can be any of you guys at any given night. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> well, all five, all five of the uh, players on the court, like he said, they can go get 30, 30 if they want to. <laughs> but, like, I got hot first quarter. Started giving the ball to me, and then K got hot. Started giving the ball to him. Pell got hot. Started giving the ball to him. You know, just chain reaction, really. Hey, coach, you kind of touched on it there a little bit about Morton and Paris, and then Coach Cook there congratulating you. What can you talk about GRC just as a program, and you know how competitive they were tonight, and maybe could this be a rivalry now in the future or something like that? You know what? They, they got a heart of a champion. They, they've been what? Have they played in the three straight finals, or has it been two? It's two. And but they've been in three, three, three straight tournaments in a row, four straight in a row. I mean, you're talking about guys who've won a lot of basketball games. Um, he does a great job with them, and we knew him. And Morton wasn't going down. I tell people all the time, this time of year, old guys win. The older team seniors, the seniors win. Um, and he just kept making play after play. Some of those shots were tough. He just hanging down in there in the paint, and some of them were tough. He made them. Um, and we just knew it was going to be a fight, and we just had to withstand some of that and make plays on our end. On that note, we're going to let Coach and the Dragons go so they can enjoy this championship. Thank you so much. Congratulations on the victory. Appreciate it. Thank you.